Hi, I'm Nick Provenis. And I'm Regina Ford. Today's headline news is brought to you by Green Valley Cooling and Heating, providing Green Valley with top quality heating and air conditioning, value and comfort for more than 40 years. Located in Green Valley at 645 West Ward Lane or call 625-1234. Nick? Thanks, Regina. A storm left about 1,100 homes in the dark this week, and the last of the homeowners had power restored on Thursday. The monsoon storm hit Wednesday night and knocked out electricity from southern Green Valley to Aravanca Junction. And in sports, Amy Dodson of Sarita was one of a handful of inspiring athletes featured on the cover of Runner's World magazine this month. Dodson lost her left leg below the knee at age 19 and had a cancerous lung removed two years later. Now at age 48, she has established herself as one of the nation's premier para-athletes and has taken part in two Ironman triathlons. Also in Sunday Sports section, we talk about the unexpected challenges a novice golfer can encounter, and Andrew Nealon discusses Stephen Drew's devastating ankle injury. Regina? Thanks, Nick. Former First Lady Betty Ford will be remembered for many things, including her loyalty to the close friends who helped support her in her recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. Mary Roush was one of Ford's special friends. Mary, who now resides at La Posada, was one of four women Betty Ford affectionately called the Denver Dolls. The Dolls gathered for emotional support and camaraderie beginning in 1978, not long after Ford finished treatment for alcohol and prescription drugs. Friends for more than 30 years, Mary was determined to attend Ford's funeral in Palm Desert, California, and was one of approximately a thousand people who received an invitation to the service on July 12th. Read these and other stories right here on our website or, your cop or in your copy of the Green Valley News.